Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Star Wars Galaxy at War is back. And this is part two of the battle that we started yesterday. Right now, we're just supporting the troops, attacking this right flank Imperial outpost. We brought up some support weaponry right here to the front that will hopefully aid us in our fight. It's going to provide all the support we need in order to fully capture this front line. Shit, that sniper, though, is just putting some really hardcore suppressing fire on us, though. Flush them out. Flush them out. We've taken it. We've taken it. Ten to the wounded. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's move. See, we open up a whole causeway here. We got lots of troops coming up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. Um... Now we can aid our troops attacking this position down here. Let's get some guys up here with support weaponry. Let's knock down that area. Let's uh, start thinking about the assault on this side. Because we need to start bringing down troops here. Uh, I'm going to get someone back in this vehicle to pilot it. We're going to bring this gun down. So we can move it forward. The sniper fire on those guys down there. Seems like the right thing to do. Let's go, let's go, let's go. While they're occupied, we're going to give these machine gunners down here a little bit of a surprise. Perfect. Excellent fire support. These men are down. They were killed by the sniper. James Wilson. He's going to link up with the rest of the troops. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's a guy inside the transport. Do we have an AT back here? Or anyone with grenade? Sergeant James Wilson. I'm taking command. Who are you? Where'd you come from? Uh, I've been sneaking out here into, in the cold, harsh winter terrain before they even deployed your company to this sector. Yeah, he's one of those Pathfinder bastards, huh? Admittedly, they are shown great respect amongst the rebel forces. Pathfinders are deployed long before any any great war parties are uh, sent into a sector. In this case, him and his Pathfinder team have done a lot of damage. Killed many squads of stormtroopers. And they've been sort of, you know, twisting around these snow-covered mountains uh, for a pretty good time. Killing a lot of the Imperial stormtroopers. He's the last one of his squad. Glad you guys came here, though. Could really use some reinforcements. And it has arrived. I don't know how that stormtrooper is going to react to this. I kind of feel bad for him. Okay, went through the vehicle. As I kind of suspected. Let's try that one more time. Let's try and throw it on him. Ah, oh, under the vehicle. Well, I have a feeling if we send enough troops in there to kill him, we'll get him. <laughs> there we go. Nice. We've secured the right flank now. Let's uh, let's rig this place for detonation, and then uh, let's link up with the main forces. They're about to prep a assault on the Imperial trenches, so we need to hit him from the right flank. So let's just get all the troops gathered here. Oh, it's friendlies. Don't worry. Don't worry. Look at them standing out like getting their weapons ready. Uh, let's get these guys up here. They're still going to stay here for a while. Oh, let's just bring up. The front line has been kind of secured. So we're going to bring up some heavy weapons that we need. But we won't leave HQ unguarded. We'll leave a... We'll put them on a... Obviously, red alert because they're in they're in a war zone right now. But we'll send a whole squad down. I got a feeling that it's going to be highly necessary. We'll even bring the AT. We'll leave an officer here and a couple of men to guard the HQ that we've set up momentarily. Inside here, we just have a few senior officers and guards. The rest are all committed to the fight. That's just how it's going to have to be. So, can we send this guy down here to the right side? Uh, death path is not too risky at all, actually. 
So we'll have the transport on its way. We're going to rig this place for explosion. explosion. We still have troops up the front line, obviously holding it down pretty nicely. We need to prepare more troops for the assault. We're going to send up some guys on the left side here. Get them ready. More reinforcements are landed back here. Excellent. The rebel cause is strong. This is this is many, many... Or a long, long time after the, the fight on... Uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, Hoth. This is like a, towards, towards the end of the third movie in a way. You know, you know the Battle of Jakku and all those big battles? This is one of those crazy ones. Absolutely stunning map, might I add. I haven't seen anything quite like this. Before. This is just like superb map making. There's a sniper back there that we need to root out before we can commit any main forces. He's gonna first of all first of all rat on us that we've got troops coming in. And uh we don't like that. Where is he? Oh he's back there. He is a sniper too. Well, I mean that's kinda what I'd expect the Empire would deploy. I think he might be a little too close to his friendly lines though, but William Robinson ain't no short of rep medals, so. Oh, he knocked him out. No one saw him coming, no one heard him. <laughs> Fucking went there with a knife, killed him, slit his throat. Wait, he's... <laughs> you didn't do it hard enough. He woke up and killed you, son. Jack got him. God damn it. He's a fine soldier. Young. And willing. The role for the rebel cause. Anyway. Demolition experts have arrived. How do we assault this right trench? There's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, we'll have to get to business. I wonder if the Empire is going to receive reinforcements sometime soon. Probably have some Star Destroyers up above, ready to send down some troop transports. That doesn't worry me right now. What worries me is us getting on with the objective at hand. Well, we're sending up several squads now, ready to assault the front lines, which is very promising. We've got explosions vehicle is ready to go. Let's assemble everyone we need down here for the actual attack. Here are the explosions, both of us experts. Where's James? I need to talk to him. What's Stephen Moore? Did he go back? Where did he go? Where is he? That's Homer Wilson. Ah, yeah, he was uh, part of the uh, the shooting there. I'm trying to find my hero. There he is. James Wilson, there he is. <laughs> Look at him. I mean, that's the in-game name, and I can't bother to come up with, with more specific Star Wars names now afterwards. He's going to lead this, this platoon here. All right, let's get some explosives placed, and let's blow this fucking shit up. All right, the area has been rigged. Let's place it and let's get the hell out of here. Wow. That was awesome. Perfect. <laughs> Detonated the entire cave on itself. It all collapsed. Awesome. Okay. Ammunition's depot has been knocked out. Let's get our troops up into position. Attack begins any time now.
This is crazy. We're getting so many troops into position right now. Alright, I don't want to completely empty the trenches, but... A cause is a cause. An attack is an attack. And we must follow the rules of engagement, if there are any. And I believe in a position like this, where we are the aggressor and we have to attack, we need to do certain things the right way. Okay, we're getting some more troops up here. It's a wonder they haven't spotted us yet. One misstep, and this operation is going to go south and quickly. I feel like a real bloody naval Navy SEAL operator. Oh god. This is super close. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh shit. Get the troops into position. That's it, let's move, let's move, let's move. We have control of the overhead passage now. So we're definitely gonna proceed to take that into advantage. <laughs> so cool. Sneaky rebels. Doing rebel things, huh? Sabotaging, blowing things up. Getting ready for a full frontal assault without even the stormtroopers fully noticing. Look at them. I haven't had any drills in a while. Oh, you haven't. You've got <laughs> so many rebel guns at you right now. This is actually quite scary. Because when we open up... And trust me, boys, this mission is on play. It's on... Uh, it's going. There's no pause. There's no uh, friendly one one misstep, and this entire thing blows up beyond proportion, man. I mean, I'm serious. It's going to go south and fast. But if we execute this right, real men of war style, we'll come home victorious. How do we start this attack? I I don't know. I think it's gonna come down to one of us getting noticed before the other, and then it's just just all help. We're gonna break loose. Oh man. Oh man. Let me just see. Can you fire at these people? Yes, you can. And you will once the shit goes down. Nail biting. Everyone is in position for the attack to start. Now we just need... Uh, where the fuck is he? Okay. Homer. You've taken out one ATSD. We need you again. I know it sounds ridiculous. And you've done so much already. But we need you. I'm like biting my nails off here. 
in this slow motion tempo. I, ca I can't. I can't hold it. My heart is shaking so heavily. My heart is shaking like crazy. Oh shit. Fuck, I'm working. Yes! Oh, I don't know if that was enough. But the battle is on, open fire! That ATST is still active. Can't be. How is it possible? That was a good shot from the bazooka. Oh man. That ATSD is just too much right now. That was a uh, pretty insane setup. And it was just so close to it going down, but with it being still active, it's. It's gonna be hard to get any tactical uh, tactical advantage in this fight right now. I really mean that. That thing is a killer. Right side's got two men left out of the <laughs> almost 30 or so that attacked originally. Luckily, we do have some reinforcements that I didn't quite uh, dedicate so early on. Sorry about the background noises. Someone came in the room. <laughs> sneaky. It scared the shit out of me because I was doing something really sneaky in game and then doors opens too, so. It's creepy. Alright. I'm sending up. Well, we gotta commit to the attack. But, obviously, having that said, we still got a lot of assets back here that we can employ now. We've got a whole squad on the right flank. If this, if this attack fails, I'm afraid we might have to brace a new Imperial attack. We've got a Jerry Ryan here, he's got 80 capacity. That's just great. Look at that beast. You got it. Reinforcements have arrived. While lads covering fire. Overshot that like crazy. Oh, undershot that like crazy too. No effect against that. Nope, I don't want to search the crate. Okay. Command says pull back. Pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Wait till the evening. We'll hold our right side. We'll hold our right flank. We need to reinforce our right flank. We need to dial in right now and get more reinforcements coming this way. But other than that, we cannot we cannot commit to the full scale assault. We need to get back in position and hold hold down. Man, they're putting a lot of fire on us on that side. The rebel command will admit to the fact that the first wave, the first attempt at taking down the. Uh, position here was a failure it's very well coordinated but the initial the initial engagement did not go as planned and the Imperial firepower was too much so we're gonna set back here quickly gather up and uh, wait for evening to fall and I presume give it another try I hear that the space battle above is going very well and that the Empire will not be able to dispatch any further reinforcements until they, they can themselves reinforce their own troops uh, and their own fleet and the system. Uh, that is the news I'm receiving right now. 
So this battle will continue just a little further. See you guys in the third part.